for the primetime games, and that's what we do here on the drive through Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. It's over live free sports picks for the games beginning at 7 p.m. Eastern Time or later. And to deliver those winners are professional handicappers over at Pick Dogs and Sports Chat Place. So let's take a peek at who's on the show with us for today. All right, with us, we've got Javon Burst with us. Rod Zawacki, Kevin Thomas will re-debut back on the show. Jay Briggs on location, Vegas, and Brian Biller. And here's how they'll line up for this evening. All right. We've got uh, Briggs versus Biller, Zawacki, Thomas, and I will close this one out. All right. Uh, it's college basketball. we got eight games coming up here in the late sessions, beginning here in just about 40 minutes here. Also, uh, NBA eight-game card, a few on the ice. So let's head out to Las Vegas, Nevada. We're bringing in our man Jay Briggs. Catch them over at Pick Dog Supreme. Hope to catch the morning shows, his NBA Jam sessions, and more. Jay, what's happening? Tony T, what's happening, my man? Everything's going great. All right, you're going to be looking here at NBA for tonight, and it will be the game involving uh, the Spurs and the Grizzlies here. Uh, we see the Spurs six and a half point favorites, total two sixteen and a half. Yes, sir. Y'all see who is in the background? I got Brad. I got Mitch. Roof loves right here. We're in we're on location, man. We live and in action. But look. Tonight for y'all on the drive through I'm rolling with the San Antonio Spurs. They're favored in this game by good reason. Um, they've been playing the much better basketball here recently. There's a reason why the team with six less wins has six and, is favored by six and a half over Memphis. Memphis on the road is a no bet most of the time. At home, you can look at Memphis, but I'm fading the Memphis hustle short, sweet, simple tonight, Tony. I think that uh, San Antonio, Victor Wembanyama, <laughs> and company come out the ball. <laughs> all right. All right. There we go. And, of course, we get a bonus play there, right? Uh, Mitch has been talking to the Clippers, uh, the Clippers and the uh, <laughs> Trailblazers, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Put, what do you say, Mitch? What's happening? What's happening? Okay. You've been, you've been screaming Clippers. Why? No, we're. Stop fading the Clippers. Fade. That's Jay's. Uh, oh, that's fading the Clippers. Blazers money line. Blazers Blazer money line. All right. All right. We got one from Mister Blazers money line. Put it in all your parlays. <laughs> so what are you doing with all that offered money? What are you going to be doing with all that offered money? Auburn. Off. Alford. Alford. Your fader. Your fader. Oh, come through again. Steve Alford. Oh, yeah. Tell him John Calipari's getting fired. He said John Calipari's getting fired. <laughs> hey, give us something for the late for sessions. The no, hey, Mitch, give him something for the late sessions. What do you got? Um, we're going to go with Charleston on the money line over Alabama. There you go. Charleston money line over Alabama. Another one goes down, bites the dust. One of the top, one of the blue bloods. All right, there we go. Got one from Mitch. We got from Jay. Jay here, Spurs. He's getting their ass kicked. Florida's down, Kentucky, Mississippi State, all of them except Tennessee, gone. Yep, SEC, bad, bad. All, all gone, D.C. kicking ass. Carolina, Clemson, NC State. There you go, keep an eye on it for tomorrow. So uh, you're on tomorrow morning, you're going to be on tomorrow morning, morning show? Yes, I'll be, I'll be hosting tomorrow morning, hopefully my internet's cool. I don't know if Mitch is going to be there. He said he'll he'll know yet, so he'll be there. He said he'll be there. All right, so Mitch, <laughs> any, anything on Saturday catch your eye, Mitch? I know you think for tomorrow catch your eye. Tomorrow's card, I haven't really looked at. It. We I haven't, haven't really looked, at, looked yet. I haven't looked at. All right, gotcha. All right, uh, Jay here on the Spurs. Uh, here. Duquesne. Duquesne. Dayton. Duquesne. <laughs> He's not Dayton Duquesne. with Dayton. No. <laughs> <laughs> Michigan State here gonna get four points. Texas, your Longhorns tomorrow, Jay. They're gonna get uh, they're gonna get six and a half against Tennessee. Tennessee really impressed me yesterday, um, and I've always felt shaky about Texas this season in basketball. I think that six and a half line is probably right where it's supposed to be. A small lean on Tennessee, but y'all know I'm a homer. I could easily wake up and be on Texas tomorrow. <laughs> Hey, tell Mitch, that, tell Mitch that Gonzaga's a four-and-a-half point favorite against Kansas tomorrow. Oh, let's see. Might have lost. There you go. Gonzaga laying four-and-a-half four against Kansas tomorrow. Payback. I can see Gonzaga getting their payback like Mitch says. I can see it happening. I, I'm not that high on either one of them teams, so yeah, it's tough. North Carolina laying four against Michigan State. Tom Izzo, man, it's his time. It's his time. Mitch has been telling y'all about Michigan State's time all year. 
I wouldn't want to fade them in, the, in, the, in this year. Crate Lane, five against Oregon. Oregon plays who? Creighton. Getting five. Creighton laying five. Blue Jays? Yeah, Blue Jays. Oh, the Blue Jays. I'm on the Blue Jays. For six, uh, I'm on the Blue Jays. NC State laying six against Oakland. All right, we lost Jay there. There we go. NC State. Oakland was hot from three yesterday. It's hard to fade them. Hard to fade them. Hard to fade them. Okay, and uh, Iowa State is going to lay is going to lay six and a half against Washington State. That's probably my least favorite game on the entire card, Tony. Don't like it. All right, Dayton, Dayton's getting nine and a half against Arizona. Small lean fading Arizona. All right, I can't argue that one. All right, we got uh, there. You go uh, with the uh, quick rundown. We'll get. We'll talk more about these games tomorrow. There's also NIT, CBI, CIT as well. The card's bigger than you think. Tomorrow's not an eight-game card. We got a lot of the, a lot of the minor tournaments in action as well. Jay here, Spurs six and a half against the Grizzlies. All right, Jay, let's take a look over at Pink Dodge Man for tonight's action. Of course, Jay enjoying a really great NBA season. Thirty-four hundred and fifty units of private. All right, Jay, NBA on the board tonight. Eight-game card. Still eight games in the night sessions here from uh, College Youth. I know you like to look action on the ice as well. What do you have going on over at Pick Dogs Premium? I have my NBA player of the day, and I think I still have my College Hoops player of the day for sale. Um, so I've been pretty hot out here in Vegas the last couple days. So if you want my top two plays, scoop them up over at Pick Dogs Premium. That's right, guys. Got to go with Jay Briggs over at Pick Dogs Premium. See the great results from Jay. 3,450 units of profit, all documented, guys. So go ahead and get signed up. The promo code PICK at checkout will save you that 15% off. All right, Jay, as always, great having your show. Enjoy Vegas. Let everybody know about your jam session and tomorrow morning's show pretty, could be a really good one. Y'all can catch my jam session every day. I, sh I talk about every single NBA game on the card. And then tomorrow I'll be hosting the Pick Dogs morning show where we bring in a ton of guys from Pick Dogs and uh, we look at it the whole day's action. So it should be a lot of fun. Make sure you tune in. Let's continue to pick some winners and kick the crap out of the books. Exactly, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, set those notifications so when these videos drop, you get them in real time. All right, Jay. As always, great having your show. Have a great time in Vegas, and we'll catch up with you again uh, on the show. I'll catch up with you again on the drive through on Monday. See you tomorrow, my man. Appreciate you, Tony. You got it. Jay Breaks here on the drive through Let's on location there in Vegas. Got your little bonus as well there from Mitch. Let's continue here on the drive through Javon Burtz, also at location in, in uh, not in Vegas, but out in the casinos. We'll bring him in right now. You'll catch him over at Pick Dogs Premium. Some action tonight in College Hoops. Uh, Javon, what's happening? Hey, what's going on, Tony? How are you? Pretty good. I like your style. Just kicking it right down the casino. <laughs> it's much easier. All right, here we go. Uh, we're going to go college soup today. We're going to have to move the chains a little bit here. Uh, we've got, this is not the game you're looking at today, but boy, this one was a hard watch. Boy, this FAU really choked it, man. They had, they, all you got to do is make free throws, guys. You make free throws you, and you go to the next round. I, that, if anything, I'm going to show you how important free throw shooting is. It was that game right there, which just like, you know. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, listen, if you're talking about that, um, that Northwest the game I don't mind at all I was on the right side <laughs> yep you were on the right side there Colorado now is edged over Florida 68 62 in the second half still 11 minutes ago uh so this one is uh, still in, in, in uh you know this game was near a pick -em. actually Colorado closed favorite point and a half uh Florida had been the favorite the night before but this one Nick and Tuck here Florida got another free throw 68 63 and I think this is the game you're going to land on here. Top of the hour, Texas A&M in, in, in Nebraska here. We see Texas A&M here laying a point, total 148. Yeah, and I'm on Nebraska. You know, this is one of those things where, you know, I like, I actually like Buzz Williams. I like Texas and um and what, you know, what they, what they do on the, what they, some of the things of what they do on the court with the one thing that I definitely don't like about them, and they've had a down season, let's be clear. But, they just were shooting teams. And in the, in the tournament, in the NCAAs, in the Big Dance, that's not going to fly. No long extended scoring droughts. I don't care how good a defense you might play, how you know, much of a rebound you do, how athletic your, your, your guys are. If you can't put the ball in the, in the basket for a long extended period of time, it just allows the, the other team to come back in. You know, whether that now how, whether how this plays out, I don't know. But I like my teams in the tournament could score that have that that has that one guy that could 
shut the whole, whole thing down. That's what we have with um, Kasai uh, Taminga. You know, he's a guy that he facilitates, he's the hell out the ball. He's a three-level scorer. And those are the guys that excel in, the, in these um, tournament games, you know? And I don't think Texas a &M has that, to be quite honest. You know, so um, I'm going to take the one team, the team that plays less defense, you know, but they're, they're sneaky. They're sneaky good on defense as well. Don't get it twisted with the with, the, with these corn huskers. You know, they only allow 39 um, I believe 39.9 percent from the field um, this season. So, you know, I'm on the core Huskers. All right, we got uh, John here on, on Nebraska here uh, getting the one. You know, this Nebraska team has somewhat somewhat of a profile where you, you, you at home they pound teams they cover, but on the road they've had their struggles. But I know this is a neutral site. You talk about um, Nebraska on the yeah. road. Yeah, Nebraska. Yeah. Yeah, but, but you know. I don't count these as road games. These are, you know, these are games that, you know, neutral, both teams, you know, have it. Unless, unless it's a situation where, you know, you have like earlier, this early you had UConn. That's basically a home game. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they're, they're facing situation. That's, that's one thing. But you're facing, it's two teams, you know, I don't, where they're playing at again to see who has the advantage yeah, as this far as region. Yeah, this one here, neutral site, will be played Memphis. Yeah, so that's close to both um, air balls. It's close to Nebraska than Texas, but, you know, I think um, Texas a and um, you know, they, they travel well. But still, it's, it's not going to be an advantage for either team, you know. So, and from, from what I remember, if I remember, Nebraska didn't do so bad in neutral site games um, this season. So, you know, those things where I don't really take too much stock in um in the the, the road of Iowa because it's not really a road of Iowa because both teams are, are, are on the road basically. Okay, looking there at here at uh, Texas A&M here in Nebraska, Javon here on Nebraska here plus the one. Anything tomorrow catch your attention? Uh, not right now. Not not until I get back to the lab and um you know are uh, digging in right now. I'm at I'm at all course so it's like <laughs> I'm just in the midst of it. You know what I mean? Dealing with um tonight's action. Then when I get back, I'm gonna start digging into these games. I gotcha, I gotcha. So but, uh, but you could throw but you could throw something, you could throw whatever at me, um Tony. All right, I'll throw some. I'll throw some tomorrow at you here because uh, there's some interesting ones. Just to start the, the night, the after morning off at Michigan State in North Carolina, uh, the line opened here, North Carolina laying three and a half. We're seeing some fours pop up. That, that seems kind of low. It seems kind of low to me. Um, you know, I know it's um, Tom, Tom Izzo and Marsh, but uh, that low number, I don't know. You know, um, you see this too long for, um, you know, for 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 Michigan State, man. Um, I would lean um the scene in that one right now. Creighton in Oregon. Creighton is a open five. Uh, I mean, I I like Creighton. Um, I like what you know. I like that they have the big man Coburn, and I like that they have shooters on the outside. Uh, Oregon, Dana Hall. Um, you know Dana Altman. You know you always got to give give a team where he's coaching the chance. Five is a little bit too much, but I like what um Creighton um Creighton does. So. I would link Creighton, but um, that's without, you know, the uh, benefit of um, doing the research. All right, and uh, I'll leave you with this one. Dayton and Arizona here. Uh, Arizona nine and a half against Dayton Flyers. I thought Dayton was going to go out in the, in the last round. <laughs> um, they should have really, but um, yikes. Uh, can't, I mean, nine and a half is a big number, you know, but... Um, Arizona, once they get rolling, you know, it's really hard to stop. You know, and I don't want to go chalk, but, you know, without the benefit of digging, yeah, that, that might, it might be a little bit too much for, um, for, for day in the arm to handle a team like the Wildcats. You know, um, they got to come with a real defensive effort. I don't know if they could do it. So I will lean Arizona right now. All right. There you go from Javon here.
uh, there, which is a little breakdown here for tomorrow, guys. Make sure you tune in the morning show. We'll be covering, we'll be discussing these games in a little bit more detail once Javon gets back to the lab. We'll figure out which siding on. But this was just basically looking at the openers and just kind of get an idea about tomorrow, giving you a taste of tomorrow's show in the morning. Nebraska here plus the one from Javon tonight, top of the hour. Right, Javon, let's take a look over at Pig Doctor for tonight's action. Eight games in the ninth session set to go here uh, in college hoops. Eight from the NBA. Uh, auction on the ice as well. What do you have going over at Pick Docs Premium? Yeah, I got a um, got a five pack in um in the college slate. You know, the, um on a, in the Big Dance. You know, um also got a three pack I believe, and from um longer term um clients, I got um a couple of NBAs that I didn't put out um for for um for single play. So that's what I have. You know, check me out three days, seven day, thirty day. It was on the plus side yesterday for college basketball. On the plus side again today. You know, got five more um plays to go in that you know in college basketball, you know, for the big dance. So, you know, jump on certain long term, like I said, or mess with one of the other handicappers for the two point capital emotional. It's all here sports that place to pick though. Let's get it. That's right guys, get on board here. With uh, Javon Burtz over at Pick Dog Trim, you see the great you see great results from Javon. You use the promo code Pick at checkout, you'll get signed up. Of course, you guys love that 3D All Sports Pass here on a Friday. You get all of John's premium plays here Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Cover the remainder of the first and second round here of the NCAA tournament, where they will down this tournament down to 16 teams on Sunday night. Also, NBA covered as well. Multi cap promotion, even better value there. All right, Javon, is always great having you show. Have yourself a great evening. We'll catch up with you here on the drive-thru on Monday, but we can always catch your videos, a short series, as well as uh, your, your your appearances on the uh, morning show on the weekends. Yeah, putting out those, those shorts. Um, I had a, a, I was a partial, a partial win a night to go, you know, um, depending on what number you got um, for the short um, uh, two-team parlay. But I need to step it up on that one, you know, to be honest. You know, it's a um, 60 second short, so I don't do any recapping on, on that. If I was doing the longer the video, you know, I, maybe I would, you know, recap um, the previous uh, parlays that I did in the results of that. But, you know, understand for the audience, it's only a second, you know, um, uh, clip. So, you know, you can't, can't put out the, um, you know, the pics and the, um, and the recap. It's just not possible. You know, I'm not a speed talker, so you know, um, yeah. But yeah, I'm doing that, and you know, you can always catch um, me on the weekend shows, and then right back here on, on Monday. That's right, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit those notifications. It's short for a reason. Short and quick. So you're not going to get a whole lot of the analysis, just the picks for you guys that like the shorts. There are folks out there that do, because you read the comments, just give me the pick. Well, for those guys, check out the short series. You got it. All right, Javon. Right. Get everybody happy. Now everyone's happy now. <laughs> hey, listen. No one, no one's happy unless it wins. That's it. That's, that's what I know. A, that's what matters when you win. Exactly. All right, Javon. Have a great weekend. We'll catch up with you on the drive through Monday. Absolutely. Have a great night. Win. We'll see you on Monday. We'll see you on Monday, indeed. Javon Burt's here on the drive through We'll continue on. Yes, uh, uh, Dustin H. Thank you for the, the reminding me. I have was I, I forgot the last segment to bring this up. Our newest feature here on the drive through is our chat pick of the day. We asked the chat for their picks, and they've been hot. This chat room is on fire here. You guys know your stuff here, man. I know a lot of other shows like to bully the chat a little bit, but these guys know their stuff here. It's very sophisticated chat here. We've been doing this for years now on the drive through at this hour. So uh, we, we the folks here know their stuff. All right, here's the chat pick of the day. It's TCU and Utah State, the link game. If you like TCU late, this even for those watching the replay, you can also put the pick in the comment as well if, if you are, are watching the replay. Because obviously, if you're not watching this live, the chat will not be available. We will accept your pick in the replay. All right, so chat pick of the day, TCU and Utah State. If you like TCU lane four, type A. If you like Utah State plus four, type B. If you like the over 149.5, type C. If you like under 149.5, type D. That is our chat pick of the day. And the first four all over the place. We got one here. For TCU, we got one for Utah State, we got one here for the under, and we got another one coming in here for actually they're split again. So so far early, the early uh, voting coming in here. We've got uh, two and two right now. Two on TCU, two on Utah State. Keep those picks coming in, and we'll recap here at the end of the show. Let's continue here on the drive-through. Up next will be 
Brian Avila. You'll catch him over at Pick Dog Supreme. We'll bring him in right now. NBA coverage tonight here from Brian. Uh, let's see if we can bring him here in just a second. Wait, maybe we'll go back a little bit for him here on our board. Here we go, Brian. Brian, what's happening? Tell you what, always great to be with you, Tony T, on a Friday night uh, off a of, uh, winning day yesterday. Today, 0-2 uh, to start the day, but still three more games to go, so hopefully uh, get back into the positive. Uh, and we got a, a great weekend of sports coming up for sure. Yeah, it looks like a great weekend. Yeah, everybody getting excited here. Uh, you can hear, feel, you can feel the excitement, especially when you're out there and, and when we have our folks out there in Vegas and throughout the uh, throughout the oh, casinos. Boy, I wish I would have been in that car. I wonder if yeah. you're driving that that, uh, that I know. car out there. I know. I mean, uh, <laughs> it looked like an interesting drive they were making there. So, uh, yeah, it looks like <laughs> excitement there. Uh, of course, you've been catching the morning shows. Probably some videos there from them in Vegas. But we got we got Jay live. I had to get him to hey, dude, turn on your phone. Uh, so it was a cool, was a cool segment. But we go out here to the West Coast. Late night action here. Uh, Lakers and 76ers. Lakers had a lot of rest today, I think, with three days off. The longest rest period they've had all season, if you don't count the All-Star break. Lakers laying 7.5. The total sits here at 225.5. Yeah, for my best free pick on the board today, and I'm going to look at the Lakers hosting those Philadelphia 76ers. And I do believe we're going to see the Lakers uh, close out this regular season very strongly, uh, winning, uh, winning, though, and covering two different things. Lakers have had extended rest off since Monday. You know, maybe a little bit of rust factor here. But still, uh, uh, with all that rest, LeBron is questionable for this one. But I'm going to figure that he's going to play in this one. I don't see how he misses it. Sixers have, uh, <clears throat> haven't thrown in the towel. They need every win they can get. And uh, they've owned the Lakers over the recent history. 9-1 and one straight up last 10, 7-3 and three against the number. Uh, Lakers have the Pacers and Bucks on deck next. So how hard are they going to push themselves tonight? I think they get the win here, but I think the Sixers uh, get the gritty cover. Uh, who they Really, the Sixers must up their uh, defensive form if they're going to hang in with the L.A. Lakers tonight. Uh, and also, they had struggled to scoring lately, they had the 76ers. But in any case, I think this number stays within two possessions. I'm going to take the Philadelphia 76ers plus the points. All right, we got Brian here on the Sixers here, plus the seven and a half here against these L.A. Lakers. Yeah, L.A. Lakers off for a long time, the longest rest period of the entire season if you don't count the all-star break. Of course, this Laker team has just been up and down. The seesaw, them and the Warriors, up and down all season long. But when you look at the rearview mirror, uh, Brian, I've been, I was bringing this up and people were just laughing at me about a week ago. I said, you know what? The Houston Rockets can make a run here because their schedule's been soft. And if you look at the Rockets' schedule, I think they got Utah twice. They have Portland coming up. Uh, and they got Miami to close the regular season. You don't know what, Miami, Miami may not need the game. So, uh, and no one's talking about it, but these Houston Rockets have been on a fire here of late. I tell you what, the Rockets got me last night. They played the Chicago Bulls, uh, I, I think, and I had the yeah. Bulls last night. And the Rockets just took it to them. I thought they were due for a letdown, but nope, no letdown from Houston as they continue to get the job done at home, uh, covering the number and winning straight up. Yeah, they're making some ground up on this uh, nine and ten seed, and I, I mean, I joked. I mean, I wasn't really a joke. I thought I really seriously thought the Rockets. And when you look at their schedule, it was really. I mean, a lot of Washington, the Bulls. They got Utah twice, Portland on there. Uh, again, they close against Miami, and Miami, a team that probably will have nothing to play for to close the regular season. They have a game March uh, the second, I believe, April fourth. It was yeah, April the the, the second to last game. Houston is hosting Golden State. That could mean something. So I still think there's drama in this nine ten. What do you think? I think for sure, and if uh, Golden State's got to go into Houston and get a win, you know that's going to be a tricky situation for them. Sure, for sure, with the way Houston uh, Rockets are playing on defense, I just hope they can keep it up because in the playoffs, the Houston Rockets would be a team that I'd, I'd like to back with the points. I think uh, uh, you get some value there. Well, you know, Philadelphia, this team is just you know we've seen the offensive struggles, and uh, we thought I thought that we this team showed signs that they could play with LMB, but maybe not for this this long. Yeah, you know, you think the Sixers would be used to playing without Joe Allen B. It's not the first time in his career that he's missed, uh, you know, a bunch of games in a row. Uh, but if uh, they're going to go anywhere in the playoffs, they need to get, you know, indeed needs to be in the lineup for sure for the Sixers team to make any kind of run. Yeah, no doubt about that. All right, uh, here uh, with, with uh, Brian here on the 76ers here, plus seven and a half against the Lakers. We can't ask about Temple anymore. <laughs> we can't ask him about that. Uh, but Good. Um, those bastards are done. <laughs> <laughs> they're done. So no more, no more researching Temple for the show, Brian. <laughs> nope, I, I won't miss them at all. I think I got the, I, I cashed against them when they lost to Ed, uh, 
<clears throat> when they lost the UAB, I think it was. So. So will he be in action tomorrow with the, any NIT, CBI, CIT? Or just you're going to pick game that, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. The game that really caught my eye was the Kansas uh, uh, Kansas game against Gonzaga. To me, it looks right off just at glance that makes me want to be on Kansas because how poorly they looked. And really, they should have lost that game. And they're that small of a – I mean, they're only getting a, uh, what, three to four points against Gonzaga. So to me, early first look, uh, I'd like to be on Kansas tomorrow. I just want to see how that line goes and how the uh, the bets come in. As yeah, that one to open four and a half. It's still sitting around four and a half. We'll see how the bets come in on that one. Uh, of course, uh, Kansas uh, holding off Sanford, making that run at the end there. We'll see how that rolls here. A couple of blowout games tonight. Grant Bo Purdue laying 26 and a half. Longwood uh, is a big dog today. Do you see any hope for the, those two dogs, Longwood and uh, Grambling? What I saw in the Grambling Purdue game as I was leaning towards the under at the time this morning was under uh, uh, one one thirty nine. Uh, so I like the under in that game, and I would lean towards Longwood. I like a good dog on a Friday night. I think early in the day, uh, we've seen uh, the masses do pretty well as far as betting goes. But I think as the night progresses, I think a team like Longwood might be able to cash for some uh, uh, guys out there. There you go. In five minutes, James Madison will be playing Wisconsin. Wisconsin's been a hot team in about five and a half. Wisconsin. Yeah, uh, that's my, that's one of my premium picks of the night for all sure. Right. So, uh, in that one. I think, all right, that's all a perfect my, segue. My games are late tonight. That's exactly. a big, uh, good segue. So let's get to Brian here on the sixes here, plus seven and a half against the Lakers late night tonight. All right, Brian, let's get to Pick Dogs Premium here for action from Brian. Great college basketball season, 1740. This is a profit. All document over at Pick Dogs Premium. What do you have going on site? We know you got a big one coming up in about five minutes. Yeah, I got my Titania play uh, coming up tonight. Now, that's not the one in five minutes. That's the late game tonight. Uh, and my Titania play, 70 wins, 44 losses, one tie, 61.4% win percentage. Last 115. Get my Titanium over at PickDogs.com, just $25. And uh, I'll be working on tomorrow's plays as soon as we get off of here. I'll post my titanium play. But really, every day, make sure you go on over to PickDogs.com, pick that up. Maybe a two-for-one capper special. You know, with Rod Zawacki, he's heating up. We got the return of uh, my bash brother, Kevin Thomas. Uh, really, all the great cappers here at PickDogs.com. You don't want to miss anybody. That's right. Don't want to miss anyone, guys. Get on board here with Brian Beller over at Pick Dogs. Premium showing great results in college hoops. Showing positive results here for the year. All sports combined. So no better time to get on board with Brian. You know, you guys love that three-day pass here on Friday. So get all of Brian's premium plays from the NCAA tournament for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Until they whittle this tournament down to 16 teams at, on Sunday night, you'll get all of his premium plays there with that three-day pass. Don't forget the NBA. Don't forget college hoops. He may if he likes NBA, CIT, CBI in there because a lot of CBI coming up this weekend. So get on board with Brian. Promo code PICK. Save that 15% off. Right, Brian, is always great having your show. Have your, continue that success. We'll catch up with you again on the drive through Monday. But we always can catch you here on the weekend shows as well as your a, 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 a contrarian chart plays with your video series. Yeah, make sure you check out the Pick Dogs channel every single day for my sharp betting contrarian predictions. Also, I'm going to be uh, with the guys tomorrow. I'm going to be there on Saturday. The one thing I do miss is being able to make fun of the Miami Hurricanes. They're not around anymore, much like the Temple House. But uh, I'm sure I'll be defending Bryce Harper this season and uh, a bunch of other stuff on the weekend. So it'll definitely be a good time. Good time. That's right. Baseball coming up. Opening day, U.S. opening day on Thursday. So, you know, a lot of work to be done here. So uh, that's uh, something looking to fo looking forward to. All right, Brian, enjoy the weekend. And we'll catch up with you again on Monday on the drive through Thanks for having me, uh, Tony T. I'm going to head out square dance. And I'll catch you on Monday for some more. Uh, hopefully, I'll be streaking by then. That's right. I'm Brian Bittler here on the drive through ready for the square dance. All right, let's continue here on the drive through Guys, let's update the chat pick of the day. You guys love this segment. We've added it, and you guys have responded and have performed very good with it. Chat pick of the day, TCU and Utah State. Late night game tonight. If you like TCU minus four, put A in the chat. If you like Utah State plus the four, type B. Over 149 and a half, your, your choice would be C in the chat. If you like under 149 and a half, the choice is D. The chat has been on absolute fire right now here. So keep those keep these winning winners coming. And also, uh, let's get the update now. We've got uh, Utah State now, seven. TCU, one. We got two here on the over, one on the under. So keep these picks coming in right now. 
uh, from you guys here in the with the chat pick of the day and we'll recap here at the end of the show so keep them coming in let's continue here on the drive through up next we're going to go ahead and welcome in Rod Zawacki you'll catch him over at Pick Dogs Premium we'll bring a Rod in right now ready to roll he's always been good to us here on the show uh, let me find him here we think we went a little too far here uh, let's get uh, Rod Zawacki into the fray here with some NHL coverage here on this Friday night Rod what's happening yeah, not too much. Just watching these uh, hoops games and uh, getting ready for tomorrow and um, tomorrow's hoops games and then a whole load of eleven game uh, NHL slate. So busy, busy. <laughs> nothing, nothing stops. It's a massive weekend. So yeah, enjoying enjoying some of the hoops action. Been good. So uh, definitely uh, looking forward to tonight's action too. It's going to get even better. It, it never fails, right? The conference that sucked during the regular season seems to do well in the tournament, right? No one's beaten the Pac-12 yet. <laughs> no, and, and they're rolling right along. It's, it's just, <laughs> that's how it goes sometimes. That's how it goes, right? <laughs> the, the, the conference that stinks wins, and that's that's how I think goes right now. We've seen the, the twenty. Now? It's up to twenty. Well, yeah, they're just pounding in Florida right now. We'll see how this rolls here with the, that Florida. Auburn struggling here against Yale. As we speak here, so we got a lot of good coverage coming up here tonight, and of course uh, we're going to the ice now with Rod, and of course we'll have a bonus segment from Rod later in the show, later in the segment. All right, uh, Rod, we've got uh, your pick coming in here with uh, Blue Jackets and Avalanche. Uh, we see it. Look at the lines now. Here we are. It's that, it's that time of the year. Avalanche four fourteen total now up to seven at the sharpest book. <laughs> right, right. Look at this, and then you're chasing like a puck line. Look at that puck line. It's like a minus a one sixty five, and oh. then you're gonna chase them two and a half, and it's like no. We're just going to chase goals and goals early and often. We've seen these two teams uh, uh, play before, and what well, happens is we get goals, goals early and often. Who's getting the start for uh, Columbus in this one? It's Elvis Merzlikens, and uh, he's been leaky, that's for sure. Leaking in the goals. He, uh, his last two or three starts, he has not been good. His most recent start, he gave up six goals on 27 shots. Start before that, he gave up three goals on four shots. Got pulled in that contest. So he gets to start again. If he can find all his work this season, he's at uh, about a three and a half goals a game. So he's good for at least three here. And I, I, I think three is being uh, light on the, uh, the the light side. This Avs team can definitely uh, light the lamp and never roll it. Um, winning hockey games. And the other side, it's not like the uh, Avs are uh, playing the greatest defense of well. Georgiev getting the start again. And man, this is his, like part of the season, man, he's been getting worked. And he's got a 283 goals against and a 902 save percentage. So he's given up some goals. He's good for three at least here. And the way this Avs team's going, um, I think they get six, seven. I, I think they get six, seven on their own. I, I would say I, I think the Avs will win this like uh, six, two, six, three. Either way, that gets us up and over the seven that we got here. It was six and a half, I see. But hey, grab the seven. You get that nice plus 115 on your price. I think we easily get over seven in this one. All right. Rod Zwicky says here, Avalanche Blue Jackets over six and a half. Uh, the, or seven. He likes to get in the plus there on the seven because uh, the sharpest book in the world has seven. Everybody else still at six and a half. Uh, we show you the sharp book, sharpest book in the world because that's where the money's coming on, right? The money's coming on the over, but you can find six and a half. But Rod prefers the over because if you can find over plus 115, he likes that because of the juice situation. We are seeing the six and a half juiced here. I'm actually seeing... <laughs> actually seeing DK over six and a half minus 142. <laughs> so uh, just, uh, just it's 137. Some of them don't want right? to move the seven. Move the seven for crying out loud. Why are we seeing all this juice? Just move the seven. <laughs> that, that's crazy juice. I, I'm not laying that. That's why I said just move, take the seven. Yeah. And there's <laughs> no no point laying uh, minus 140 juice on, on a total. No chance. Don't do it. Don't ever do it. Don't even... See this under it, like minus one twenty nine is a little bit. That's juice too. Nope, not doing it. Take the over. Yeah, <laughs> Rod says that. Rod says There's no defense. This is this is like a hoops game without without uh, anybody playing defense because neither of these teams play a whole lot of defense. The Avs love to uh, high score, run and gun, and the Blue Jackets. That's the only way they seem to be able to win games. They you watch a Blue Jackets game and they win, and they're like six five Blue Jackets win, and it's like what? what kind of game was that? <laughs> yeah, just skates on. Yeah, 
Get your skates yeah. on, smooth up the ice, and just keep them rolling because, yeah, they've given up 10 goals over the past two games. And it, uh, they, they face a contender like Winnipeg got pounded right. at home. I mean, that's, that's, that's what you want to know about Columbus. They're just struggling. But, you know, the W's, W's, W's here keep piling up for this Avalanche team as we're getting close to the end of the regular season here. Rod, uh, how, do you see the, the, how do you see the postseason shaping up here as far as uh, uh, matchups in the West? For, for me, it's like the Avalanche. I don't want to face the Avalanche team. Um, uh, as uh, we've seen it, I watched the Abs and Oilers, and the Abs seem like the Oilers' kryptonite. They've won what seven of the last eight meetings head to head. So yeah, the Oilers don't want to see the Avalanche. They're hoping somebody else uh, does the bulk of the heavily beating up of the Avalanche before uh, the Oilers have to ever face the Avalanche, because um, they're going to be a tough out by any team. They made some pickup trades uh, that picked up Walker on defense at, uh, at at the trade deadline for Philadelphia. Oilers should have picked him up. Should have went all in on him. He, he looked real good in that game. They made some other moves. They're getting healthy. Abs are always going to be there. <laughs> when you got somebody named Nathan McKinnon, well, he's there always going to be there. And you got the best defense uh, player in the NHL by far is it, Kale McCarr. And uh, he's on the same Avalanche team as well. So Avalanche, I got at least in the top four to, to finish out the West. You got to go with Dallas, Abs, Oilers. And then maybe who else is in the West that you might sneak in there? I, the Nashville. Watch out for Nashville. Then in the West, they've been just like. Does anybody want to play in Nashville right now? Oh no, after they that just, win against Florida. Yeah, that was a, <laughs> after that win against Florida last good night. Oh, right? they're right, wrong. There was, there was that nice win there. <laughs> good call hot, there. Hot. They're definitely hot. Hottest team in the NHL, I'd say right now, is the Nashville Predators. Yep, there's no doubt about that. Uh, so right there on. Uh, on uh, the National Predators. I was reading something that the, uh, the women's league sold out. Was it true the, the game in Montreal and Toronto sold the entire building out? Oh, yeah, sold the building out. They wow. Love they love the uh, the women's hockey. It's it's, it's going to go. It's going to stay. I'm sure they'll expand. And um, as I said, people love it. They love the uh, the action of the hockey. I've walked caught a couple games. And when the rink's full, <laughs> man, it makes for a ruckus environment when the the home team scores, and it just makes for a great atmosphere. Good night out of sports. People love it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to stick. Yeah, I mean, that made headlines because they had, they had the two Canadian teams go. I believe it was in Toronto, Montreal and Toronto in the PWHL. Uh, I believe it's tomorrow, right? I think the Saturday, it, it was a complete salt the entire building. <laughs> just, wow, maybe Friday. I can't remember the day it was, but there was a, it might have been for this weekend. So uh, there you go here. I, I don't think they want to go head-to-head with, 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 with the men on Saturday. Maybe what, what's going to be their night, Friday night? Probably that's what I would figure Friday night because that's usually the quieter night. I think that's what they've been trying to do, putting more games on the Friday night, and it's been seem to work and um, getting sellouts as you've seen. Um, I think that's what they're going to go with. Look at this, Yale's about to uh, yeah. upset and uh, <laughs> send <know>. some. Uh... <laughs> Man, the brackets. <laughs> the brackets are in trouble here. If you have, the Yale is given given uh, this. Uh, Auburn, all they can handle here. And I thought the pace was going to stroke. You know, at the end of that first half, it got kind of scrappy there with Yale, right? They were having trouble with that pace of play. But uh, Yale was at school. We're going to run with you. <laughs> and they're up one here with a minute left to go in the game. Well, because they finally learned that uh, what Bruce Pearl was doing, he was running guys in and out because they're short. They only got yeah. eight guys uh, left on the floor. Uh, yep. Buddy tweaked his leg, and uh, after the other guy got thrown out, now you got eight guys on the floor. And so he was trying to run them in and out, keep them fresh. And while well, what uh, Yale's done in the second half is, uh, yeah, they played track meet. They're like, yep. you want to run with us? Well, then you're going to have to run with us and keep up with your eight guys. And they did. They came out hot in the second half at, at the start. But uh, you can see now it's caught right up with them. And uh, Auburn looks like they're going to get buried here. Yeah, that's a good drama here. Here, <laughs> Rod here on Avalanche Blue Jackets over six and a half uh, or seven. Get the seven. Uh, better juice there, nine Eastern time. All right, Rod, let's take a look over at Pick Doctor for tonight's action. Of course, we got college hoops. We got eight games here in the, in the night sessions. Also, NBA eight game card four on the ice. What do you have going over at Pick Doctor Premium? And over at Pick Doctor Premium, nice three and one start um, to today. So we're looking to keep continuing rolling. Well, it's Friday. It's Steak Friday. So I got another five pack for. Uh, Tonight's college basketball action that includes my college basketball play of the day, my top play. You can get it singly uh, over at Pick Dogs as well. Plus uh, my NBA drop a dime play. We've been uh, rolling seven and three the last ten on uh, the NBA as well. So uh, been hot in the hoops. 
You know, NBA drop it down. We hit it yesterday with uh, the Rockets. That was a nice, easy uh, rocket chair winner there. So, uh, double board today's NBA. Love it as well. Or uh, grab that three-day pass. Join me for the rest of the weekend as we uh, continue to crush all tubes. That's so, right, Rod. Uh, use that promo code pick at checkout. Save fifty percent off. It'll uh, put a little more extra money uh, in your pocket as well. That's right, guys. I'm both Rod Spike over at Pick Dogs Premium. You guys love that three-day pass here on the weekend. I uh, get the long-term pass. That's the way to roll. I like you said it was a rocket chair winner. <laughs> Rockets. Hey, hey what do you think? Yeah. Will the Rockets the catch? Rockets will, will the Rockets catch the Lakers or the Warriors? Will they catch one of those teams and make the play-in? Rockets. How can you not? You got, I, I like them. They look like they got some motivation and starting to play. Sure, I think they can catch somebody coming in. There you go. You got it from Ron. They can, I, I like their chances of catching somebody. Give me the Rockets to come in. They, and catch if you look at the schedule, three of their next four games, uh, two against Utah, one against Portland. They got OKC in there. They close the regular season against Miami. You know, Miami probably will have nothing to play for. And then the, the, their second to last game will be at home against Golden State, which might mean something. Yeah, I might need uh, that. Might be that might be a huge battle. Both teams might need that. Uh, the, yeah, that could, that could be a great battle right there. Last game of the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, most of those they should win. Most of the they should. Yeah, win. they've got yeah, an easy schedule down the stretch. I mean, that's why I thought. Yeah. That's why I said the, the I wouldn't be surprised if the Rockets caught one of these teams. And, and here they come. Here they come. In there. And here you they know. come. Yeah. So keep an eye on this. On this, no one's talking about it. So you're finding some value on this Rockets team because nobody's really talking about. You got, I thought that was a real short number yesterday against the the Bulls. It was, yeah, yeah, definitely a short number there for me uh, yeah. as well. Yeah. I, I just took the money line. It wasn't so bad. I laid a little bit of juice. I wasn't too scared about the. Uh, I think I got one fifty, and I was like, yeah, a buck and a half. I'll lay the buck and a half. I think that's a, a rocket chair winner. I don't have to really be worried about. Uh, some late three going in. That's right, right. right. You got any bonus? Got any bonus for the people, folks? For sure, I got a two-teamer uh, prop parlay in the NHL. Go with uh, Seth Jarvis to get himself uh, any time point. He's got uh, a point in the last five games. And then go with uh, Clayton Keller here uh, of the Arizona Coyotes. He's been uh, ripping it up at uh, 70% getting points. That's all he does with the Coyotes. Points after points after points. Take his points and Seth Jarvis' points and pair those up uh, together. And uh, you got a nice plus price on that. So uh, and I think those are two rocket chair prop winners uh, tonight in that one. You and go. then you got to take Nathan McKinnon. Nathan McKinnon gets two goals tonight. There two goals go. for Nathan McKinnon. Florida making a run down five with a minute 16. So that one's still not over yet. Colorado and Florida. So keep an eye there. All right, Rod. Uh, let everybody know about your video series. Of course, that you do NHL A to Z here as well as a parlay. And, of course, we'll catch you here on the weekend show. Yeah, definitely make sure you're like, subscribed, and turn on that notification bell. That way you get notified when those uh, videos drop. 11 hockey videos, plus a parlay video for uh, tomorrow's action. There's still uh, the four games tonight. Ladder card, those videos are archived. You can go check those out there. Jets got us in the parlay, so we're, uh, we're looking to get another one going tomorrow. Love that one as well, so uh, check it out. Let's get it. Get it? Indeed. All right, Rod, have a great night. Uh, the SEC's in trouble. Two of their teams, <laughs> late stages, I might get knocked out here, but uh, we'll talk with you again here on the drive-thru on Monday. <laughs> it's looking like it, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> wow. It's going to be some controversy on that call. Yes. Uh, that you've seen five minutes in, yep. whether that was uh, actually a uh, flag or two or not. Um, I would say not, but it is what it is. Good luck with the rest of the bets tonight, boys. That's March Madness, and that's why we call it March Madness. Absolutely. It's been madness. So, uh, it was madness. It was. I don't think it was, but it was. And I'm going to take I'm gonna take a big old L because of it. So, uh, mm. it is what it is. Yeah. Three and two on the day. So, still up money. Still got five. Florida's cut it to three. Florida has cut it to three. So, keep an eye there. All right, right. Have a great night. We'll catch up with the game. Oh, no. <laughs> on the oh, run. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Oh, Ron Samarki here on the drive through. Uh oh, it's getting close there. They've cut it to three. 99 96. Chat pick of the day here. If you like TCU, put four in the comments. I'm sorry, put A in the comments. TCU minus four. It's A. B is Utah State plus four. C is over 149.5. D in the comment if it's under 149.5. Right now, Utah State is taking a small edge here. Nine to eight, uh, Utah State. Uh, two and two over two unders. Let's continue here on the drive. Let's welcome back to the drive through uh, Kevin Thomas. We'll catch him over at Pink Dodge Room. We'll bring Kevin in right now. Coverage here from the late, late games here tonight in College Hoops. We'll bring Kevin in here in just a second. Ready to roll here with College Basketball. I think we're set to go here. Whoop, wait a minute. Wait, here we go. 
bring him in right now. Kevin, what's happening? Hey, how you doing, Tony? Long time no talk, and uh, I'm doing great. I'm actually I'm on Colorado, so oh. I'm, I'm watching the 37 seconds left in a timeout, so I'm a little worried because yes. uh, I took it on the money line. I wanted that plus money, but I, I love a team that comes in off the in play with only two days, like a day and a half rest. So I thought that line was very suspicious. So I had to lay a little bit with Colorado, and now I'm. I'm bearing down. <laughs> yeah, bearing down. Two SEC teams down in the late stages. Florida and Auburn. Yale on the line looking to extend a three-point lead. Oh, my goodness. But, of course, some controversy there with players out. But tonight, uh, everyone seems everyone's dying underdog. Maybe it didn't turn out that way, right? Grand Canyon, St. Mary's. It's now up to six uh, from the five and a half here. Some late money on St. Mary's. St. Mary's lane six, total 131. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. You know, Grand Canyon out of the whack. Uh, 29 and four. That's a that's a great record to have, and you know they're stacked. They got a uh, Grant Foster, who uh, we all know with the heart problem stuff. Did Paul transfer? Came in, has been lighting it up. 19 points per game. They have they have everything backing them, and I don't think they have the weight of the world on them as St. Mary's does. As St. Mary's, you know, last two UCLA and then UConn the, the year before. But you look at those two teams, I mean, UConn was stacked and won the whole thing at UCLA back in the day, you know. Uh, Juan Zhang and uh, Jami Jaquez Jr., those guys were studs back then. So I think this is St. Mary's time to put on a show. Uh, that line, because we were looking at the uh, – I was looking at the money and stuff, and it was 33, about 36 when I first liked it at five and a half. So – for the fact that it's showing six now tells me a lot more than I needed to know to put a little more money on this one. Uh, St. Mary's great defended. They're not even like if you, their their defense is not because of the offense not scoring a lot. The defense gets overshadowed, but they're holding teams to fifty eight points per game. The problem for them is going to be the offense. But if they can slow this tempo down and make Grant Canyon slow down the game. Uh, St. Mary's is going to roll here, I think, pretty easily. If you look at their schedule, both of them played San Fran. St. Mary's hammered them. Uh, Grand Canyon beat them by two. And the only the only game when I was looking at back through all Grand Canyon's games, they, they beat uh, San Diego State, who was ranked at the time. But then you saw that New Mexico, New Mexico State and St. Mary's handled New Mexico. So I know people look at that stuff, but it's all about uh, – I think St. Mary's defense tonight and the fact that this is going to be their third time. They, they have a fifth-year senior, senior in Dukas that came back because he, he knows that this team is prime now. So I love St. Mary's here, and I would take it up till six. All right, Kevin here. On oh, six st- seconds left, and they tied it. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow, what a comeback. Oh. Florida was down oh, 94-84. They were down 94-84. And they've rallied here uh, to tie the game here in, in, in remarkable fashion. And we've seen some collapses. And we saw that with Nevada here. Florida with a monster comeback against this Colorado team. Uh, still still uh, <laughs> see how it rolls here. But, yeah, uh, but over, over Colorado, 100 to 100. Uh, 100 to 100 with nine uh, uh, seconds left. So keep an eye there. So uh, Florida has made the comeback. And uh, incredible Buffalo comeback. Buffalo needs to get fouled. Yeah, wow. down to 94. 80, now it was just, this, just a few minutes ago. 94, 90, 94, 84. So a monster run here by the oh. Gators here in a wild, in a wild game there. 200 points combined already in this one. It's been something here, you know, with the St. Yeah, St. Mary's have really looked the part here, right? Uh, we were kind of kidding about them because they really played a lot of bad teams. You look at some of the teams in the 300 rankings, they were pounding them by 40, by 50. But, uh, they, you know, I got to respect the way they, they handled Gonzaga the last two times. Oh yeah, and Utah. I mean, yeah. it's the, it's all about. It all starts with the defense there, and as as good as Grand Canyon is, I don't. I wouldn't put them with Utah or Gonzaga at this point. Uh, I think they, you know, who knows what could happen. I mean, I mean Dayton yesterday with that comeback. I mean, it's it's amazing. <laughs> and and last night with Oakland, holy mackerel, that guy. What he he tied the three point record and uh, beat uh, Kentucky there. Geez, amazing. Yeah. So anything can happen, but my money is going to be on St. Mary's, especially after that line move. Yeah. Uh, if you watch Kentucky, the mine dipped the other way before that game. Dayton, it was showing sharp before that game went off. I actually was on Nevada because 
I go in between. It don't matter, sharp or you know, cont- contrarian. I, I like Nevada, and yeah, you know, it just didn't work out for me. Just like this game doesn't look like it's working out for me. Oh, wow, it's still six we'll seconds. We'll see though. See how it rolls. Still time remaining here. Still Wild and Yale and and, and Auburn, man. I mean, these, there's so many floor burns in this game. It's unbelievable the way Auburn plays. Uh, oh, they won, Colorado. There you KJ. go. There you go. <laughs> oh, Got it in. Oh, I love plus money, baby. I love it. There you go. Plus money won there. I didn't even know. I didn't even know how. Uh, you know, Brian, Brian messaged me. He's like, "Hey, why don't you have a three pack up?" And I was like, "Well, I'm new to site. And I, you know, I haven't been doing too good." He's like, "You're, you're like number two right now." And uh, college basketball, I'm like ten and one right now. I think I'm eleven and two after this game. So yeah. I still got two good ones. Two good ones coming tonight. Uh, and you know, I, I'm looking forward to some of these good matchups. That's oh, right. Yeah. Uh, Kevin's been here. Five hundred sixty-five minutes of private last seven days. Just cash with Colorado buzzer beater. One hundred two, one hundred gets the win against Florida. Plus money there. So uh, no better time now to get on board with Kevin. You see the results there. Use promo code Picket Checkout. Save that fifteen percent off. Also, long-term pass will serve you well. Three seven three day all sports pass. Get all of your pre and plays for that time period. Select when you go to his handicapper page. Make that purchase. Uh, so get on board there. Uh, still drama there with Yale. Oh, my goodness. Aubrey can't make a shot here. It looks like Yale's with the ball with 16 seconds up. And uh, we'll go to the lineup oh. three. So that one, that was a wild, that was a wild stretch there, Kevin, where, where <laughs> Aubrey find their, I mean, I got to give them credit, man. They're working their ass off, but you just, they just can't get the ball in the hole. No. Yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel bad for them, but it seems like they're uh, gassed. Yeah, that's going to be a big, big, big upset here. The four seed uh, Auburn down three to Yale with Yale at the free throw line. Again, just a lot offensive rebounding, just going for every loose ball, but just can't get the ball in the hole. <laughs> they can't get the ball in the hoop here. And uh, at, uh, it's an interesting finish there. All right, uh, Kevin. All right, it's always great having you show. Let everybody you know what, what, what your, uh, you got picks over at Pick Dog Stream. will be ready to roll with a big weekend, right? I still got two going tonight. Um, I don't even remember the names. I, I know the one is in the Wisconsin game, and uh, the other one is I can look right now in uh, Nebraska, Texas A and M. All right, that was uh, rolling. They're the two games I still got going on. So, all right, guys. Either of them, but uh, I'm already I'm already living with uh, plus money to start the uh, my three three. I only had three today. I know NBA and the. Uh, NHL. NHL and stuff, but uh, I just I just wanted to focus on the college basketball day. Uh, but the NBA is you know kind of hard. I, I I give out the videos. I took Detroit Pistons plus the points early. I, it was thirteen. I don't even know what's at because I mean the Celtics, Celtics don't even have to play anymore. I mean they yeah. pretty much got everything locked up. I think one more win they already clinch everything. Uh, so why even play your guys on the road? I, I I get it playing them at home. So this game's on the road. So. It's just it's just hard to pick NBA right now yeah. for me, yeah. Because uh, with not not knowing who's going to play and how they're going to play, I mean, get them each ten minutes so Porzingis gets a workout maybe. But but we'll see. I'm going to have some, lots of plays tomorrow though. Lots of college. Uh, hopefully some hockey and uh, baseball's right around the corner. I, I can't get Thursday, play. yeah, U.S. Opening Day on Thursday, and of course uh, we'll catch you. I see you're you're signing up for the weekend show right tomorrow. My first time, I got to figure this computer out, though, because I don't like <laughs> using the camera on it. So I got to figure out a split screen and do all that stuff because I know you guys, I know they go right through a lot of games at once. And as much as I want to tell the public that I know about every team and every game, I do not. I'm a Big East, Big Ten kind of yeah. guy on the East Coast. So when I bet, like, Colorado and stuff, I have to research, research. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And, 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 of and, of course, and, of course, games. And, of course, tomorrow, not only do they give us those eight games, they also give us, like, a ton of CBI, CIT, and NIT. So we're going to talk about those, too. So uh, <laughs> so, so you better have multi-computer, multi-screens ready to roll. I'm already looking at NIT and, and CIT for tomorrow. So trust me, I'm looking at Alabama A&M. Because, uh, you know, hey, listen, this is, how, this, is what, this is what we sign up for, right? I'm already ready for this NI, CBI. Got four CBI. They're playing in Daytona Beach. I already handicapped Seattle and uh, who the hell was Seattle? Seattle and um, God, who's Seattle? I just finished that game about before we started the show. I know the Bethune Cookman, Arkansas State, Chicago State, UC San Diego, Alabama, A and M, and Norfolk State will be going head to head. And I know I just looked at Seattle's giving up too many points tomorrow. Who was, oh, Delaware State. Yeah, that was what I was looking at. So yeah, we got to get the CIT and CBI ready for tomorrow's show. All right. <laughs>
Oh man. oh man, and be ready for it just like this. I, I okay, might, you gotta be ready just like this. Oh, I might have COVID. <laughs> okay, yeah, you might have a sick day tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a great sick day, especially with the CIT stuff and CVI stuff. We gotta talk about. I'll be better. I'll be better for when baseball comes. <laughs> That's I right. Understand. That's right. I'm See, slow, I just I'm to, slow when it comes. To I had time. to get you ready for this because tomorrow is gonna be a real challenge. Because when we start talking Alabama A and M. And uh, call, and uh, that's going to really uh, kind of throw things for a loop here. We'll see. We'll see who's ready. And we know Ruffalo will know this stuff, right? But doing quote men, <laughs> Chicago State, UC San Diego, Fort Norfolk, you know, we'll be ready. All right, 78-76 uh, here. Yale holding the lead here. But Auburn with the basketball. So Auburn in the in closing seconds here can tie it up, foul to the line. So we may get a tie game here if they can make their free throws. So keep an eye there, Yale and Auburn closing Whoa. seconds. So they could tie it up. All right, Kev, have a great night. If we don't catch up with you tomorrow, we'll catch up with you the next week. All right, Tony. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. You got it. Kevin Thomas here on the drive through. I will continue here, guys. Let's continue here. Let's wrap up this chat pick of the day. It's a late game tonight. It's been a while. Usually this hour, it's always the bad games. Remember that uh, at this hour, it's always like a, a 1 versus 16. Uh, oh, did he miss the free throw? Oh, my God, he missed the free throw. Oh, goodness. How do you miss the free throw? 78 76 Auburn down two six seconds left at the free throw line missed the front end of, a, of two so let's see if they miss it on purpose Yale up two here the free throw is missed again but Auburn with the rebound and and a putback is missed uh, a three second a three point at the buzzer is no good Auburn has been eliminated Yale has won the game wow what a closing sequence there wow 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 so uh Auburn goes down Yale 78. 76 Auburn had their chances the front end of two missed it they looked like he missed the second one on purpose Auburn all over the glass but just could not that's the whole thing about this Auburn team you get the rebound but the putback was just missed 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 all the time so Yale advances here against Auburn and of course the coach for Auburn is going to be speechless right <laughs> that's what's supposed to be the team everyone complained about the seating for Auburn why are they a four their number they're a, they were highly ranked on the Ken Palm well, this goes to show you. But, of course, they did have that injury. and oh, I'm sorry, that uh, injury. And, of course, one of their players thrown out, which will be heavily discussed there and scrutinized here in that one. All right, let's get back to the chat for the day. Okay, all the, you can catch your breath. We've got these crazy games here. Like I said, this hour, these are usually blowout games. You know, these are the games. They used to call this the game no one saw. Back in the day, this was a West Coast game that was only shown in the West Coast region. But now they show them all. And uh, this hour, this time frame used to be duds. But for some reason, these two games at this hour <laughs> turn out to be pretty good. That's so uh, interesting. Okay, let's get back to the chat pick of the day. Utah State and TCU. If you like TCU, it's A. If you like Utah State, it's B. If you like over 149.5, it's C. If you like under 149.5, it's D. Uh, right now, it is tied at 9-9. Nine to nine. So we need you guys. We need you guys here to, to break the tie here. Uh, nine here on TCU minus four. Nine here on Utah State plus four. Tied here on the total. Uh, two on over 149, two on under 149. This is the tightest line here so far. So we're going to get to my pick, and then we will get to, well, hopefully we can break this tie. Uh, again, TCU and Utah State is the chat pick of the day. All right, let's get to my pick here, guys. Let's get to the recap, then we'll get to my pick because uh, we've hit the witching hour because we got so excited here about these games. All right, let's continue on here on the drive through. What a, what, a, what a show today with all this drama here at this hour. All right, let's get it here going here. Uh, let's get to my pick, and it's not going to be this game, right? It's not going to be this one. So let me go ahead and move the chains here. It's going to be the Warriors game against the uh, um, against the Indiana Pacers. And uh, I've been talking about the Warriors here for a second here. And uh, what, what, wait a minute. i got to hit the NBA button. That's why I'm hitting my pick, not the NBA button. So let me get this going here. Here we go. All right, it's going to be Pacers and Warriors. That's the one we're going to be looking at. And the pick we're coming in here with will be on the Indiana Pacers plus five plus four. Let's see. Move down to five, four and a half. The sharpest book in the world. Let's see where you got to grade me at. Let's see. Are we still four and a half? Yeah. Oh, there are some fives. There's just one five out there. So you're going to have to grade me at four and a half, it looks like. Uh, nope. There's only one five in a U.S. sports book. So four and a half is where you're going to have to grade me at. So it's four and a half now on this one. And uh, looking at this game uh, with the Warriors and, of course, the uh, – Indiana Pacers. I just want to double check the injury report. It looks like just Johnson out here for Indiana. 
Moody is out here for the uh, Warriors, but Green hit the injury report as probable. That's probably his back issue, but let me just double check to see what the what the story is with Draymond Green because he did hit the injury report, and I just want to uh, verify that here. Uh, just one second here with Draymond Green probable here. A little banged up. That's been that back, right? That's been the issue, but he's going to play in the game. So it looks like he's going to play. It's probable is listed. So that was the only story. But, you know, the issue here uh, in this game is that, you know, the Warriors uh, – are showing some signs here uh, offensively, but still the defense at home. I've been worried about uh, looking at this game. Uh, the, the Pacers have shown a little bit of, of improvement here, defending of, of late here. You look over the, uh, the road here, the Pacers on the road since the All-Star break, allowing just 111 points per 100 possessions, a plus 3.5 net rating, and over their past five games are allowing 45% shooting. The Warriors have not been a really good home team this year, but pretty much a flat net rating. So we'll go ahead and take the points here, the four and a half here with the Indiana Pacers. All right, guys, check out Pick Dogs Premium. I got a best bet on the board right now from College Hoops or my long term pass, three, seven, or 30 L Sports Pass. Get all my premium plays for that time period. Just like when you go to my handicapper page, make that purchase. Remember the promo code Pick at checkout, you'll save that 15% off. All right, let's continue on. Let's get back to this chat pick of the day. We have got more votes here, and it has been pretty much, uh, we, have, we can now say, uh, we can now give you the um, winner here. The chat pick of the day is definitely going to be in. We can now close it. And we've got two more on Utah State. So Utah State is the chat pick of the day. Uh, we got uh, 12. We got, I'm sorry, we got 11. 11 here on Utah State. We got nine here on TCU. Two the over, to the under. So the chat pick of the day will go on record as the Utah State is the chat pick of the day. Utah State plus four. And you guys, keep an eye on this because you guys have been great with this chat pick of the day. You guys, another winner yesterday with the Denver Nuggets. And uh, since we started this, there's only been like uh, two losses. So you guys have been on a, on, a, on fire here with the chat pick of the day. So now it's time to get your show pick or your best bet. We'll call it the show pick. So put your show pick, you pick the game, and make it reasonable, guys. Don't give me any minus 400 uh, money lines out there. So give, give us your show pick and we'll read it at the end of the show. All right, uh, let's get to the recap here. All right, we had Jay on the Spurs, laid the six and a half. Jovan, Nebraska, plus one. Brian, the 76ers, plus seven and a half against the Lakers. Rod Avalanche, Blue Jackets, over six and a half. Kevin on St. Mary's, minus six against Grand Canyon. I was on the Pacers, plus five against the Warrior. The one I like the most here, let's go with Kevin here with St. Mary's. All right, uh, that's going to do it here for this edition here of the drive through uh, Make sure you guys tune again tomorrow live here at 6 p.m. Eastern time. We'll do it all over again. We'll bring in our cappers here from Pick Dogs Sports Chat Place. We'll get out your place, or we'll get our place here in real time. And remember to always get started with that morning show, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. We got Mitch, we got Chris, we got Jay. Also, on the weekends, the, the many of the drive through cappers will join in on that show. Tomorrow it will be at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Remember the video series here, Mitch's 7 Picks in 5 Minutes. His betting tool show is roundtable discussions with the professionals. His video shorts as well. Jay's jam session, NBA Chris, around the league from the NBA as well as individual picks. Of course, Rod Zawacki uh, with his A to Z coverage from the NHL. Also, that parlay, I'm just going to limit to the guys that appear on the show. We got the Jay's Jam Session, Javon with his parlay videos. Also, Brian as well coming in with his contrarian plays, uh, his contrarian sharp angle plays. So I'll just keep it to the guys that are on the show. You guys know there's a ton of video series out there, so check it out. All right, let's get to the best bets from the chat today. You guys gave us the chat pick. Chat pick Utah State plus four. It's been hot. It's been on a roll. Put something on it uh, because the, the chat knows their stuff. All right. Blake here, James Madison, plus five and a half is his show pick. Doubles, his show pick today. Dallas Stars lay the puck in half, plus 125. Let's see if we have any more show picks coming in. So get those show picks in right now because we're about to sign off here. We got uh, Chris White Thunder has been good to us. He likes the other side here. He likes Grand Canyon here at plus six. Max says, give me the Aggies money line. He doesn't need the points here. All right, there we go. What else do we have here? Any more best bets coming in from anybody? Pacers money line for Max. Take the Lakers, okay. J-Man likes the Lakers. That's his best bet in here tonight. J-Man says Bama's next next one to be eliminated. <laughs> uh, funny, that's a good one there. Let's see what else we have here. All right, any more, any more coming in? Guess last call for your best bets or your show pick. Your show pick, we're waiting for you guys. This is the last call, last call here before we let it go. All right, that's going to do it. We got them all in, guys. That's going to do it for the drive through Tune in again Monday at 6 Eastern Time. We'll do it all over again. We'll bring in our cappers from Pink Dogs and Sports Chef Place. We'll give out your plays for you in real time. 
And of course, remember to like and subscribe. Help us grow our audience so you can have more people to chat with and we can have more votes here on the chat pick of the day because the chat pick of the day was Utah State. Just to remind you again, the chat pick of the day is on YouTube, Utah State plus the four. And of course, I agree with you on that one as well, by the way. I do agree with it. All right. That's going to do it here uh, for you guys. Have a great week. Enjoy the weekend. I'll be on the morning show tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So join us. Jay host me and a bunch of guys, a bunch of the cappers here from Pick Dogs. All right, let's go ahead and bring in our crew from tonight. We're going to go ahead and 